Russian figure skaters attended an after party at a show in Ulaanbaatar. We have finished the show in Mongolia, now we have a reception. We are in very beautiful dresses, suits. We haven't dressed so well in a long time. We will take pictures so that you all can see. Said Elizaveta to Tamas Shiva in a video on Camila Valiva's Telegram channel. Thomas Bach said that the IOC is making every effort to return the Russians to international competitions. Now we are making every effort to fulfill the mission, to implement the proposal of the Olympic movement to return athletes with Russian and Belarusian passports to international competitions. We are in close contact and exchange views with the international federations that are currently in charge of the competition. We very much hope that this mission can be carried out under the conditions that have been defined, so that athletes from these two countries compete in neutrality, and we can truly unite the whole world with the Olympic Games in Paris. You know the statements of governments that want to decide who can participate in the Olympic Games, international competitions, and who can't. We must be very firm that these decisions must be made by responsible sports organizations. I believe that governments have the right to express their position. But they also understand that any boycott will only punish their own athletes, and deprive their people of the opportunity to be proud of the athletes' performances at the Olympic Games. Said Thomas Bach, head of the International Olympic Committee. Katerina Witt called for the return of Russian athletes to the international arena. The two-time Olympic champion in figure skating is an ambassador for the Special Olympics, which will be held in June in the German capital. Witt stressed that art, culture and especially sports have always brought people together. We speak the same language, which does not require a dictionary. What is the use of the fact that Russians and Belarusians with disabilities will not be able to attend the competitions in Berlin? said the ex-skater in an interview with Weltem Sontag. According to the German, it is wrong to remove athletes because of political differences between their governments. But calling her own sports past, Witt said that figure skaters from the GDR, the Soviet Union, the USA, Canada, Germany, France met after the competition and asked the question. Why can those in power treat each other as like-minded people, as we do? If communication is not established on a civil, human basis, I am afraid that walls will be re-erected in the minds of too many people for a long time. Shaking hands is vital, no matter at what level. Wood said. Tatyana Tarasova appreciated the words of Katerina Wood about the need to allow Russians to compete. Katerina is a normal person, an outstanding athlete, she understands everything. Thank her very much. Can such opinions influence the position of the IOC? I think so. Said Tarasova. The Czech Figure Skating Federation appealed to the FFKR regarding the transfer of Dario Chirizano. It is reported by TASS with reference to a source. Today Chirizano, who performs in ice dancing, announced that he is training with Czech figure skater Denisa Tsimlova in Montreal. The Czech Federation wrote a letter to the FFKR regarding the transfer of Chirizano. The source said. Chirizano previously played for Russia with Irina Kavernina. Together they won the 2020 Youth Olympic Games and the 2022 Russian Championship. The duo broke up in January. Canadian figure skater Piper Gills was diagnosed with stage 1 ovarian cancer this winter. The figure skater announced this on her social networks. The last six months have been something of a roller coaster. Tomorrow, on World Ovarian Cancer Day, I will share a little more of my story. I am incredibly grateful to the people who supported me throughout the journey. I've always tried to be as real as possible on social media and felt like I needed to share it when the time was right. Life is full of ups and downs and all we can do is keep moving forward," wrote the athlete. During the winter, Gills underwent surgery to remove her appendix. According to the skater, the intervention was due to her current diagnosis. Alexander Zhulin spoke about the possible transfer of Dario Chirizano to the Czech national team. Earlier, the Czech Figure Skating Federation applied to the FFKR regarding the transfer of Chirizano. I think that, firstly, we will survive this. And secondly, in this pair, his partner, Irina Kavernina, always looked more interesting. She stayed to skate for Russia, so I think that nothing radically terrible for our figure skating happened. It certainly won't be a big blow to us. Kavernina, as far as I know, is now skating with David Narizhny. I saw them on video and they look good, Zhulin said. Ilya Averbik spoke about the possible transfer of Dario Chirizano to the Czech national team. Earlier, the Czech Figure Skating Federation applied to the FFKR regarding the transfer of Chirizano, who is now training with Denisa Tsimlova in Montreal. This is a strong partner, of course, a loss. They had an interesting duet with Irina Kavernina. If it were not for the situation with the suspension, he would not think about the transition. 
I won't think what's in his head. As a fact, I can state that this is so, said Averbeck.